Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you a program I wrote to overcome the limitations of CubeGuard. And what I mean by limitation, I'm going to show you here. So in the tricks and games, if we tap on this and go to CubeGuard, let's read the description. When Cosmos cubes are close together, he might take a nap while guarding them. And that is a problem, he might. So even if you put the cubes close together, Cosmo will see them, but he may decide to pop a wheelie or to stack cubes. So you will, you will end up having to wait forever before you can play the uh, cube guard game, which is quite cool actually. So to overcome the limitation, I wrote in here, let me get in the code lab here, right here. And this is project number seven, which I'm going to show you in a second, right here. So project number seven, unfortunately the app doesn't save correctly, so I have to move this manually so that you can see all the code, like so, right there. So this is very simple, believe it or not, but it shows the power of uh, constructor mode. So for cube number one, this is here the block of codes, cube number two and cube number three. If you are unfamiliar with the cube numbering, I invite you to look at my video, The Cubes, where I explain everything about the cube numbers. So when you move cube number one, I like to have a visual indication that things are happening. So I'm putting here a red LED on the back of Cosmo and then he will play the sad animation, which is kind of upset, kind of. And I put a black light so that uh, that will turn off the previous light. And to keep things easy to remember, I'm using the RGB code. So red for cube one, green for cube two, and blue for cube number three. Now, as you saw in my intro, I, I recommend as a game uh, for the kids to build a pyramid without Cosmo to notice that the cubes are moving. So that would be a nice game for kids to challenge themselves. So now if you click on the green flag, and if I move a cube, see, Cosmo is upset, he saw it. The only problem is, as is, this program does not work, and I'll show you why. And this is a good example of, uh, of uh, coding. So if you click on the flag and the kids are talking and they wait a few seconds to start to play, this is what, what's going to happen. See, Cosmo does not see the cube. And that's simply because your phone does a loop here within a few seconds and then the program is over. So what you need to do is put all the codes in a loop. And here in controls, there is such a loop, if you look here, forever. So we can click on that, bring forever over here. The problem, as you can see, is that the shape of the code here doesn't fit with the shape of what needs to be put inside the loop. So the trick that I found, and as far as I know, it's not documented anywhere, is that you put the forever loop with the start flag, and believe it or not, by leaving the loop empty, it does work, because what happens is that this loop, the flag, will go forever. So the whole program will go forever. And now if I click on the flag, look at what's going to happen. Look at the, the rectangle or the square around the flag. It goes forever. Now I've been talking for a few seconds. And if I move a cube, see, it's working. And like I said, a good game would be to try to build a pyramid. So I'm going to uh, put this in here for just a couple of seconds. You can pause the video here, and then you can copy, uh, copy the code. So one thing I'd like to mention at this point is each cube has an accelerometer chip. It senses movement, but I don't know exactly, obviously, how it works, but there is a way, and Gaspo is noisy right now, there is a way to defeat the system. I won't tell you now, 
Uh, but if don't, if you cannot find it, leave me a note in the comments below, and I'll be happy to get back to you. So this is my uh, short code to uh, overcome CubeGuard, and the neat thing is that you can click on your code anytime you want, and then you will play, right? All you have to do is click on the green flag, and Cusp will be ready to play right away. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, short video, and I hope to see you soon on my channel. Have a great day. Goodbye.